Hey there, how are you traveling? Good I hope. Today I will be reviewing Ispa's comeback because I feel the need to be an opinionated lil bitch. Just a reminder for all you psycho bitches, my opinion is as valid as yours. If you wanna be an op I'll beat your ass. And with that being said, let's talk about Savage. Gimme gimme now, gimme gimme now. <laughs> let's start with the title track. So I'm quite mixed on this song. From the teasers, I was unsure if I would actually like it and I was scared that I wouldn't like it but for the most part I really liked this song. I definitely like the beginning of the song the most and the raps for the most part are surprisingly good. I am absolutely obsessed with the pre-chorus, the vocals are absolutely amazing as per usual they really served. I'm indifferent towards the chorus for now and the post-chorus vocals are very weird for me. The drop feels somewhat disconnected from the rest of the song and as though it's almost a different song. One part of the song that I really didn't like was the bridge and the dance break. Again, it made me feel nothing and it was really hard to process for me. The first line also made me laugh and cringe simultaneously. The emoji CGI during Ning Ning's solo scenes made me laugh, it's a bit strange but I'm strictly focusing on the song. But overall, it's very classically SM and my expectations were surprisingly exceeded. This might go in my gym playlist hee <laughs> hee. This is a cute song. It kinda sounds like something Little Mix would release. This song isn't really memorable for me but it is catchy. The parts where they say their own names are cute. Ning Ning's high note made me laugh, not because it's bad or anything but because she's such a main vocalist and does it in every song, similar to Tail. But overall it's not really memorable and I'm very indifferent towards it. Nothing special. Okay first of all, it's giving girls generation and I'm sure as hell not complaining. It's a very weird song and I don't know if it's in a good way or a bad way lol. Initially, I didn't know how I felt about it but the second verse absolutely serves and Karina's vocals were just wow. This song doesn't really have any explicit negatives. There's nothing about this song that I really can't stand it's a cute song. Okay wow, I love this song. Definitely my favorite song on the album. It's giving Vogue. Fenty Beauty, Model Shit. The switch up in the chorus is so so good. This is definitely going in my spring and summer playlist. The bridge is amazing as expected from an SM group. The post bridge rap from Giselle is so good, I really like this song. A criticism that I do have are most of the post chorus verses. Again they feel very disconnected from the rest of the song but I think that's just Ispa's sound. A really unpredictable song but the unpredictability is what is enjoyable about it. Really great song. I feel like I've heard this song somewhere before. The melody is really familiar but I don't know where I've heard it. I'm indifferent towards this song. It's unique but not really my taste. Again, I loved the pre-chorus and the bridge. They're so heavenly and orgasm worthy. It's an e-spa thing to have incredible earworm pre-choruses and bridges. I feel like the pre-chorus and bridge is the only thing that I particularly liked about the song. Other than that, nothing explicitly stands out to me as well you know? Overall, it's okay but it's not the type of song that I'd gravitate towards. Fallen, fallen. This song is super ethereal, it's giving sunset bike rides and dusk playgrounds and spring strolls while you admire the flourishing wattle and blooming wildlife. I absolutely adore this side of Ispa. Okay you know what? I've changed my mind this is definitely my favorite song on the album. This is Loki giving me a hybrid between Red Velvet Kingdom Come, NCT Replay, Some Giddle Songs and NCT Sun and Moon. I am just absolutely infatuated with the vocals and the instrumentals and the chill vibe and everything about it. If I absolutely had to nitpick something that I don't like it would be the switch up just after the post chorus and before the bridge, but even then I still really like it. I can't even put into words how happy I am with this song, it's totally my taste and I really hope to see more of this side of Ispa in the future, definitely going in a few of my playlists. So overall, a really solid comeback and I really enjoyed it. 
Does it top next level? No no one can top the girl boss, the myth, the legend. But it's defense a highlight in 2021 K-pop.